You want some? Come get some. The Division Two DLC and where we are going. This area in NYC is where it could all take place. Let's check it out. So the more I think about the Division Two DLC, the more I think about where are the possibilities that it can take place. And if you notice, right in front of me, it's something you might see familiar. It's the Brooklyn Bridge. The same mm. Brooklyn Bridge you see in the roadmap for year five during Black Diamond. Now this has been confirmed, this is the Brooklyn Bridge. You do see that season four is bringing the story DLC. And the only time that we're actually in Brooklyn in Division One is at the very beginning. Yep. And if you open up the little map at the beginning of that, you can see it says Brooklyn, you see yourself. There is a mission to get to the safe house. Then you have a couple side missions. And then you remember it takes you right to the main story of the Division One, which is you go across the Brooklyn Bridge. But what about the area where Brooklyn is and what we're going to for the Division 2 DLC? Now, the more I thought about this, the more I had to know exactly where we could actually be going. So I did a little bit more digging. And one thing I noticed about this, it was actually showcased in an E3 reveal trailer. They actually showed the Brooklyn gameplay. But what they did show at the very end is what really stood out to me. It was this map of the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge. And you can see both of them right there. You can also see where we're located, which is down here. And they actually label it as a dark zone. And then underneath it, there's actually other areas. But in Division 1, we never, ever come to this area again. It's so that's, listen, this is what I've been saying with the homies for the longest time, man. I've been saying this for the longest time that New York is, is a huge opportunity a huge opportunity because it's huge it took place in new york it should have stayed in new york from division one and it should have just continued and it continued and spread out spread it out until now until now in all honesty the division two it came way before its time honestly right because there's so many. You got the you got the five boroughs, man. You got the five boroughs. Explore that. Expand on that. The division has a, has the the potential to be as as big as maybe not as big, but on like Warcraft, World of Warcraft level exploration and 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 uh, expanse. It's huge. Huge. It's the very beginning, and we stay on the left side. But if you also notice of the map on the left, what does that look like to you? Yes, it looks like Warlords in New York. So mm -hmm. we went over to the Warlords in New York map. You can see the Manhattan Bridge. You can see the Brooklyn Bridge. And then you can see the area that we're currently at in this Division One video that I'm showing you, right? And then where we're supposed to be going for the Division Two, And you look at it right here, the same thing. This is the map that they showed us for the Division. So this right here could be exactly where we're going. Now, could this be assets they've had in the past and they're just going to reuse them and then I'll build on them? Hey, it could be. Now, there's something else I want to show you. It was actually from that E3 trailer and then it lines up with what I'm about to show you right here. So if we head down, this is kind of where you start off and it tells you to go to the safe house. And as we're pulling up on our left-hand side, you can actually see this area that looks like it's under construction. Mm -hmm. It says... Well, there's nothing here. But in the video, it actually says the underground. Take a look at this. Construction site here on the left. Nah. Uh. And they say, hey, there's a construction site on the left. Exactly what I was telling you. But if you look a little closer on this one, it actually says the underground. Come back later. We should go to the police station first. And they say we should check this out. And then Megan says maybe we should come back later. Now, obviously, you know, we did get an underground in the division one as a dlc yes but this was never used could this be possibly maybe a mission that's a possibility obviously it's going to be a story campaign led dlc we know this was one of the most iconic buildings in yep. this portion the the police station right because yep. you go in there you storm through there you fight off enemies and then obviously you take off after that but again this whole area wasn't really used i think we had what maybe two or three side missions we had the main mission of the police station, and then we leave. There wasn't really much for you to do here 
besides those missions. Because mm-hmm. a lot of the areas, if, as we walk around, you'll notice they close them off, they barricade them. So you kind of get funneled into where you need to go. Again, this whole area wasn't really massive. It's definitely smaller than Warlords of New York. But in an interview with Yannick, he did say that, well, this DLC isn't going to be as big as the expansion for Warlords of New York. It is a DLC. So that gives me more clues that, hey, this kind of area might actually be the size we get. Now, could we get something a lot bigger? 100%. 100%, the DLC, the map area could be bigger than what we saw here and what we're insinuated. Um, I hope so, man. Maybe possibility a dark zone. You don't know. Because the reason I do say that is because if you go back and look at that video from Division 1, they had just finished the police mission at the very beginning. You know, and when we first start, they send you there. You got to clear it. And... This was a little bit different ending because obviously, but if you take a look at this, they pop a flare Mm -hmm. and it leads to show exactly where they are on the map. They pulse, other players show up, and this is kind of how they showcase they're going to have a PvP in Division 1. But what I want you to take a look at is when they zoom out, you see where they are on the map, and now it gives you better looking. But if you look closely... It says dark zone right next to it. Yeah. Could there be a dark zone that they bring for (laughs) this? Maybe. But again, that's just all speculation. We don't 100% know. What we do know is we are going back to Brooklyn. The only area that we saw in Brooklyn was this area right here. So maybe that's how they're going to tie it to the main campaign. We'll go back here. We'll have to do a few missions. And will we get more PvP Who knows? We honestly don't know what they plan on bringing for the Division 2 DLC. But I just find it so cool that a lot of the answers we were looking for were right in front of us, right? Uh We knew we were going back to Brooklyn. You barely play Brooklyn in Division 1 because it's in that portion of the map that you leave right off the bat. But But, but I mean, we we didn't know. We didn't know that we were going back. I mean, it kind of alludes to that, how you put it together, but we didn't know. That we were going back to Brooklyn, you know, it's like we, we got the warlords in New York. Yeah, sure. But we didn't know that we were going to be going back to Brooklyn. It was just it's just one of those things where it's like, OK, um, they have all these these assets, because when it zooms out, when it showed, it zooms out and then it shows all of the, the you know, everything on the map. Right. That's all assets that they have that they haven't used yet. Right. Assuming I'm assuming <laughs> it could have been just for show, could have been just for that, you know, that that demo, but uh, that, that demonstration. But. They got all the assets in their in their arsenal, man, all the assets. Why not use them? Like I said, five barrel, five boroughs, man. You know, you got and then you got upstate. Come on, man. Come on. Use it. But that was an area that was very well developed. And I could see them really reusing a lot of the assets for this area to create missions, maybe expand upon it a little bit and maybe give us some other modes. Who knows? But I will tell you, that has me excited. I'm excited to see where we go with the Division DLC. Um, I want to know, did any of you guys ever think of this? Did any of you guys ever go back and think that we could actually go back to this area that we had in the Division 1 that, that we do only once? I'm excited for the DLC. I, I think it's been a long time coming since we've gotten something on that size. Um, remember, the last big installment, anything we had was Warlords of New York. Again, as I stated, there was an interview and they did state that this won't be as big as Warlords of New York, but it will be a big size because it is a DLC. It's going to be bigger than what we've seen in the past. Now, what does that mean? How big will the area be? Will we get multiple lootable areas, multiple far- target farming areas? Will we get even some PVP areas in this area? We'll get a new dark zone in the division two. Um, who knows? We honestly don't know what we're going to get, but we do know is we only really have two more seasons before season four, right? Mm -hmm. Season two is about to go live either next week or the week after. We haven't got an official date. Then we should have season three where we actually go back to New York. So could that be slowly building up the DLC? And then obviously season four, 
when the DLC goes live. And that is when we'll be back in Brooklyn. I'm excited. I love um, spending time in Warlords of New York. I just feel like the environment, everything about being in New York, something about that atmosphere is just different than um, DC. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love the atmosphere from time to time in Washington, DC for the Division 2. But even just Warlords of New York, which doesn't have the snow, the cold, it, the survival aspect, it's still something eerie about it that I really enjoy being there. So being able to stay oh. my time more on the Warlords side of things in New York, and then obviously we'll probably be in Brooklyn. Hey, I'm excited for that. I want to know in the comments, what do you guys think about this? Um, are you excited to go back to New York City? Excited to be back in Brooklyn? And what oh, yeah. would you like to see from the DLC? I'll see you guys in the next one. A hey, nothing must goes out. Oh man, sweet video, sweet video. Hey, if y'all haven't yet, go ahead and check check them out, man. Number skills. Whew. Heat, fire. I mean, it, it is, and that's a good question. That's a really, really good question, honestly, because it all started in New York, man. It all originated there. You know how many people are going to be hyped up about this? Now, they said it's going to be small, right? However, that's, that's all perspective. It's perspective. To the person who's, uh, to the people who are hardcore fans of the division, especially the division one, it's going to be huge to them. You know how it is. What you think of this video, man? What you think? Get in the comments below. Oh, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Hm. Let's get it. One time for the one time out. Two squad.